Hello friends, how are you? Let's catch up on the latest news from Dallas. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. The upcoming 2023 NFL Draft has us wondering if any of the players could potentially replace Dalton Schultz. With a productive offseason so far, the Cowboys have many options this April. Unfortunately, they lost Schultz to the Houston Texans in free agency last week. He signed a one-year, $9 million deal, significantly less than the three-year, $33 million offer he turned down from the Cowboys a year ago. As I've been reviewing the draft board, a few players have caught my attention for the 26th overall pick. The great offseason they've had will allow them to explore more options. They no longer need to take a cornerback or wide receiver in the first round. Outside of adding depth to the defensive and offensive line, a few tight ends have jumped off the screen at me. Before I go any further, let me note that if the team doesn't draft a young tight end, the Cowboys will be fine with Jake Ferguson and Peyton Hendershot this season. The team drafted Ferguson last season in the fourth round, and he showed flashes of potential. However, some recent mock drafts have Dallas taking a tight end at some point. One potential candidate could be available for the Cowboys in the first round, while another might be a steal in the second or third round. Dalton Kincaid is the first name to keep an eye on as a possible replacement for Schultz. Although Michael Mayer from Notre Dame is the top prospect for the position, Kincaid is a great receiver who caught 70 passes for 890 yards and 8 touchdowns for Utah last season. However, he doesn't block very well. Kincaid did not participate in Utah's Pro Day last Thursday but told reporters that he is fully medically cleared from a back injury in late November that kept him out of playing in the Rose Bowl. Regardless of whether Kincaid is available at pick 26, I find it hard to believe that the Cowboys wouldn't take him. I didn't get to see much of him in college, and I live in Illinois, where Utah football doesn't get much airtime on TV. Therefore, I had to go back and look at some of his highlights and read up on him from some NFL draft insiders. He fits all the pieces for the Cowboys, and it could be a nice combo between him and Ferguson. What do you think of the Dalton Schultz situation, fellow fans? Leave your opinion in the comments below.